Welcome to Venice Beach, California. Today I am going to show you a brand new listing, but before we get started, I want to highlight the beach and just how close it is to this listing. We are only just a few minutes away, walking distance. Let's head over that way. B-roll, roll that footage. Reed and welcome back to my channel. Today we are here in Venice Beach, California at this charming new listing here at 2818 Clune Avenue. We've got two bedrooms, one bath, 865 square feet, also a detached creative space in the back. This is the storybook home of acclaimed artist Laura Kempton and I would like to thank the listing agents Eric Miles and Zara Karkner with Compass for allowing me to showcase their beautiful new listing here today. Before we get started, I want to highlight that we are walking distance and just steps away from Venice Beach, the boardwalk, shops and restaurants, the canals. This is prime time Venice real estate. Let's head on inside so we can take a look. Now that we are inside the house, before we get started, I want to highlight the front door. So I absolutely love when front doors are painted an accent color. This is so pretty to me. It also kind of matches my shirt. And I love that you've got the stained glass window here as well. And on the inside of the door, the stained glass actually reminds me of a sunset. So very pretty feature, great welcoming feature as soon as you enter the home. So before we get started on the rest of the home itself, let's talk about this artwork here. So right here, we've got Jerry Garcia from The Grateful Dead and B-roll. If you get some B-roll of this right here, you will actually notice that these are guitar picks. I think this is so incredible and such a unique way to use guitar picks. I love this, I think it's absolutely beautiful. So now that we are in the living room, some of the features that I want to point out are the original hardwood floors. Now, this home was built in 1939, so they're pretty old floors, but they're in immaculate condition and just absolutely gorgeous floors. Also notice the two skylights that we have up here and the few windows that are in the living room. I love how much light comes in and I also really like the vaulted ceilings. It makes the space feel much larger than it is and just really opens everything up. So before we head to the kitchen, I know you see this right here. So this is actually the Rolling Stones logo the lip and tongue i think this is so cool if you zoom in on this you can see that these are actually soda cans so it looks like they used uh, some coca-cola and some diet coke here but this is so cool it's tin it's amazing now we're gonna head into the kitchen. We've got the breakfast area here. Super cute area. Love that there's a window right here. You can eat your breakfast here. You can look out at the beautiful flowers and just enjoy your morning breakfast. And then over here you have a workstation. Just beyond that is your oven and warming oven. And then there's also space where you can store your wine bottles and wine glasses. Next, we've got the gas cooktop. And notice this really pretty teal ocean colored backsplash. I love the color that they used here. It just reminds me of Venice throughout the home. Over here, we've got the sink and then windowsill. I love this windowsill because it kind of reminds me of like a garden house where you've got the natural light coming in. And this is a great place to put plants. Refrigerator here, dishwasher here, and I'm sure you've noticed the original wood cabinets of the home. Just behind me is the backyard and a creative studio, but before we head back there, I'm gonna show you the rest of the home. Let's take a look at the bathroom here. We've got granite countertops, dual sinks, white cabinetry, lots of storage space over here, and then also you have the original 
tile walls here in the shower with some floral elements in the tile. Super cute. Again, it continues the whole Venice Beach vibe of the home. We're gonna take a look next at the bedrooms in the home, but before we do, I want to highlight again the original hardwood flooring of the home, which is continued throughout the home and throughout the bedrooms. Bedroom number two, super cozy, super cute. You've got two windows here that are bringing in a ton of natural sunlight. And then we also have a closet space over here, which is great because you've got the full length mirrors and y'all know I love a full length mirror. Now we are in the main bedroom here and I wanna point out the closet space here. You've got shelving here, which is great. You can put your clothing or your shoes or you could get really creative and you could do something like some sculptures here or some artwork. There's a lot of different things that you could add here to the shelves to bring more of an element to the room. Then we have a lot of natural light, again, a lot more windows. This is a great space because if you look outside, you've got these beautiful flower bushes and it just brings so much color and light into the room. Now, also notice you've got a back door here, which now it's time to head outside, take a look at this backyard and let's check out this creative space out here. Now I'm gonna show you the backyard, which is absolutely beautiful. So we are on a 5,000 square foot lot. The backyard is actually gated and you've got fencing all around. So we have a massive lot back here with seating, perfect for family and friends and entertaining. You've got beautiful vegetation, citrus trees back here, flower trees back here, more sculptures, more artwork in the backyard of the home. Let me show you this detached creative space. Let's go take a look. This is my favorite feature of the home. So we have a detached creative space or you could make it an art studio or maybe even a music studio. There's a lot of different opportunities that you could get creative in here with. So notice vaulted ceilings, skylights coming in, Again, an abundance of more natural light coming in. You've got the sliding glass doors and another bathroom back here. Granite countertops, dual sinks, again, the white cabinetry and stand up tub and shower with more windows. Okay, let's see how tall I am. I think this thing is, I think it's lying because I'm five foot eight and this thing puts me at like four foot seven. I don't think it's accurate. This is Laura Kimpton's iconic love sculpture. It was actually debuted in 2019 at the Burning Man Festival. It has been featured in countless magazines and publications, and the sculpture actually even comes with the home. So the lucky owner of this house will get this included. Now, I have a quick question because I need some help and need to figure out what the heck these things are that keep falling out of the tree. If anybody knows what this is right here, please comment in the comment section below and let me know because I cannot figure out what this is. So I hope you've enjoyed the tour of this home. Next, we are going to head over to the Venice canals so we can take a look at more of the area and more of Venice Beach, California. Let's go. Now I mentioned in the home tour just how close we are to the Venice canals. As you can see here, just how beautiful they are. And you can see the incredible homes that align the canals as well. Again, we are right around the corner from Venice Beach, boardwalk, shops, restaurants, you name it. It's all about location here in Venice Beach and I hope you enjoyed this home tour today. I will leave all of my information in the description below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and also share this video with a friend and I will see you in the next tour.